In this video, we'll show you how to set up the image sensors in the C11 Voxel 2 dev kit. So a lot of these come pre-connected in the development kit, but in this video, I'm just gonna show connecting everything here. So word of caution, we're just using ESD safety here. I have a ESD mat, put on my strap here, and Voxel 2. We have the image sensor uh, connections are in camera groups. We have camera group 0, 1, and 2. We'll use those in a little bit. Down here, we have a collection of image sensors and flexes. We have labels on the flexes and, and image sensors. Um, for example, here's the M10 stereo flex. We have the M74 uh, 60 millimeter uh, flex extension. M84 is our, our dual camera ad adapter. We have the M15, which is an OV7251 stereo. We have four of those, which we'll use for this two stereo pairs. Uh, we also have an OV7251 with a fisheye lens marked as M14. We have an IMX214 high res sensor uh, marked with an M25 2. All right, so let's start off with the stereo flexes. We'll notice that there's a pin, a pin 1 marked on all the flexes. So here and here, and then there. And then we're going to take the M15, and we're going to look for a pin 1 des designator right there. And this pin 1 goes to this pin one. And we're gonna make sure that we're nice and aligned. Takes a little bit and clip in. Do the same for this one. Nice and aligned. Before I clip, clip in, one down. down. Now for the M84 flex, we're going to take the high res. We have pin 1 down here. And then we're going to use the JU, so the upper slot here. And the pin 1 is down over here. And then for the tracking sensor, we're going to use JL, the lower. We have a pin 1 over here and a pin 1 over here. Kind of loops back like that. Cool. Now, we're also going to use some uh, little extensions here for the stereo flexes. So I have a, a um, camera side and then the the Voxel 2 side. So camera side pin 1 right over here and this pin 1 goes over there. Clip. Put that inside. Same thing over here. Pin 1 on camera. Alright. Side. Initially, I forgot these little guys too. These are the M76 interposers. We're going to need these for the stereo flexes as well. Um, this will convert the uh, larger connector down to the smaller connector. So in this configuration, which we call camera config zero, we're going to have the stereo flexes uh, or the stereo uh, image sensors on camera group zero and two, and then the high res and tracking on camera group one. Uh, this is done um, to match the device tree and our current kernel settings and camera settings um, for the initial uh, configuration zero. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look on Voxel 2 for a pin 1 on the camera groups. And then these are marked with a little 1 down here. And then the M76 interposers also have a pin 1 down here. So we'll match that up. And then just make sure we're nice and aligned. We're going to be careful here with uh, the 
the, phys the physical board, we have surface mount components all over the place, and if, if you hit it hard enough, uh, bad things can happen. So we're going to be nice here. And then we're going to do the same down on camera group two. Pin one's over there. Pin one's right there. So it's going to kind of loop back on this one. All right, so looking at the interposers on top, we have a pin one over here, and we have a pin one over here. So we will loop back like this. Clip in, cool. And then kind of going opposite. Over here. Cool, clipped in. Now, M84 with the high-res and tracking um, image sensor. He's gonna go in camera group one over here, marked as J7. Pin one's over there. I'm gonna look at this flex, and pin one's right over here. So this guy is going to come in like so. And the routing, um, when it's in a vehicle, you could be um, routing these cables as you, as you need with the, the uh, flexes. And then boom, just like that. So we have all uh, six image sensors hooked up. All right, I'm gonna continue on and we're gonna power this guy on and I'm going to demo using the image sensors, um, but um, I'm gonna also use an M90 uh, add-on board here with some, my, my standoffs kind of upside down almost, but for this little demo, it's fine. And we're going to use a, um, a USB to JST with an Ethernet adapter here, and then I have Ethernet cable off picture, but over here. Um, this is gonna let me uh, view the image sensors. So this M90, uh, it can, it's a PCIe um, add-on board plus uh, USB 2, USB 3. Uh, we have some GPIOs, and you also have um, a UART, and um, this is gonna allow us to uh, get to the USB 2 right here. Um, so I'm going to put this add-on card on as well. A little bit of finger gymnastics, but uh, it's definitely doable. I'm gonna check for alignment before I start to put some pressure in. And it clips in, cool. All right, so now I have my little uh, contraption here and Get USB in. Cool. That's going to go into the Ethernet cable over here, off screen. And then in the previous videos, we saw the uh, Voxel power module. This is currently not uh, plugged, powered on, so I'm going to plug this cable in. And then off screen, I have the DC supply that I'm going to power on. All right, now we're rocking. Also going to connect USB-C here, and then we can get an ADB shell going. All right. There we go. So let's get some camera action going. All right, the device is seen by ADB. We're gonna open up a shell here, ADB shell. I showed you that I had a uh, USB to Ethernet cable hooked up. So let's just do uh, IF config real quick. Double check that's all okay. So here's our IP address. We're gonna use this in a little bit to uh, view the, the image sensors. Uh, out of the box, the Voxel 2 development kits are shipped with the Voxel SDK, but not configured for a vehicle yet. Um, so in this case, we need to configure the cameras, and we have an onboard command for that. So we're going to do voxel configure cameras. Now this is the op the C11 dev kit, so this, we're going to pick the 11th option, uh, option 11 here for tracking high res and dual stereo pairs. And there we go. Next step, we're going to actually run the the camera server manually. So I'm going to do voxel camera server. I'm just going to run that manually. 
So it's up and running. We have started uh, some, 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 some feedback here, started the tracking, high res, stereo front, stereo rear. Now for the fun, we're gonna open up a new uh, terminal here, ADB shell, and we have on board a little web server that we could use to view these image sensors. So I'm gonna run that, it's called Voxel Portal. All right, Voxel Portal is running, and this means that we have a web server on available at the IP address that we looked at earlier, which was .28. So I'm going to open up a browser real fast. I'm going to browse to that, 192.168.0.28. This is a web server running on Voxel 2, and let's go check out the image sensor. Is it? A little bit wonky because of the uh, setup over here, but I have the lens. The lens covers on as well. Let's take the lens cover off. It's a little clear. That's uh, again, we're in a, fun a funky setup over here because of uh, all my flexes. But take the lens cover off and say cheese. Uh, tracking tracking image sensor has a lens cap on that. So let's uh, open up that guy and then... so there we go. Uh, that's out of the box. The Voxel 2 C11 setup, how to connect all the image sensors and flexes, and then how to quickly get Voxel camera server running, and then how to view that data using Voxel Portal.